Oh hi, thanks for watching my video. So today we are in The Sims 2. I'm hoping everything is running smoothly because I've only just installed The Sims 2 in my new computer and it was a bit of a ball ache to get this game working. So hopefully it's running okay. So for today's video we're going to be doing something that I've actually never done before in The Sims 2. Today we're going to be running a bakery. I've got my Sim here, her name is Debbie. She is an expert at cooking. As you can see, she has maxed out the cooking skill. And she has just purchased the bakery that is conveniently located next door. The bakery that I built last night, Sprinkles Bakery. So yeah, I've genuinely never ran a bakery before in The Sims 2. I've ran a business before. I've ran like a toy store and a clothing store, but not a bakery. Although it was, it has yeah. been quite a long time yeah. since I last ran a business in The Sims 2, so I'm hoping that I can f remember everything because I feel like I'm quite rusty. So hopefully I can remember how to actually run a business. Debbie and I have come prepared. She's pre-made 19 dessert dishes, so we've got baked Alaska, cherry pie, cheesecake, all ready to be sold. So, Debbie, no time like the present. Let's go to our bakery and open up shop. Drive. I think we can manage the walk. Come on, Debbie, stop dicking around on your computer. Get your coat on. We've got a bakery to run. Let's go. Okay, so I'll just pause it for a second. So this is my bakery. It's the outside, pretty cute. It's full of flowers, but you can't really see because it's winter. Also, I placed these tables. I don't know why the chairs aren't going in them. Oh, it's an end table. Oh, oh that's a shame. They were so cute. I don't really have any equally cute dining tables. I guess this will have to do. Okay. Well, I think before we open our bakery, we should probably start stocking it up. So I'll put some baked Alaskas on display. A little bit of, what is that? Is that cheesecake? It's either cheesecake or just normal cake. A little bit of cherry pie. Oh yeah, this is gonna look lovely once, once the shelves are all filled. It's gonna look beautiful. There we go, delicious. Oh, finally, okay, my chairs have gone in. Oh, I love the music, so peaceful. Sims 1 music. I can see the steam coming off my baked goods. Now, um, okay, so I guess I'm already open. How do I, I can't remember, set price for everything? Can't actually remember how to hire staff. Oh, this thing in the corner. Okay, yeah, I forgot, I forgot. Okay, so I think in terms of pricing, I think we should go expensive. We should go above average. I know we're a new business, but this food has been made by someone who has maxed out the cooking skill. So it's gonna taste good, it's high quality, well worth the higher price, you know, this is this is upmarket baked goods, all right? This isn't Greg's. Okay, and probably, so this is where I get my customer loyalty. I really need an employee, how do I do this? Using the phone or computer. Okay, oh, I've already got a customer here. I need to hire an employee quick stat. Come on, Debbie, get your ass in gear. We need some employees. I've already got a customer who's potentially going to buy. I better greet him. I don't want to lose this sale. I just can't afford to. So what's this? Just general business information, my cash flow. Okay, okay, I think I, I, think I got the hang of this. Oh, Barbara's got some talent badges. Toy making and sewing. Both useless to me. Useless, useless, useless. I need a cashier. Oh, man, none of them have got any cashier experience. Oh, uh, well, Callista, you seem to be a fast learner. You've earned yourself quite a few talent badges. So how would you like a job in the bakery? She already has a job. Yeah, we want to give her a new one. Yeah. Do I call in employees? Get her over here. I need all the help I can get. I need someone working the cashier. Patricia, greet Patricia Wan. I want someone behind the cash register so that I can work on wooing the customers and doing doing the sales stuff. But we have to personally greet each one because it's, you know, it's a nice touch, isn't it? Greet this one, greet this one. Um, has my employee turned up yet? Call in employees. Oh, I'm here for my first day. Okay, great. Management, uh, assign to cashier. I don't think I can restock items in a bakery because I've put out everything that was in my inventory so I think I'm just gonna have to, the only way I can really restock is just by baking like the night before. <gasps> oh I've got a customer who just bought something. Okay hopefully my cashier is gonna be able to process this sale no problem. Oh he did not like my sales pitch, okay. Right you, Callista, I am watching you like a hawk. Don't look at the way that customer's looking at her. Passive aggressive, looking at his imaginary watch. He's 
He's pissed off. Look at his face. <laughs> He's really annoyed by how long this is taking. Oh, I'm sorry. She's new. Oh, I love this. It feels so cozy. Especially with the Sims 1 music. Oh, congratulations. This is the first simoleon. Oh, very nice. Do I have any stars? No. No, no one's impressed with my business. Well, maybe I'll check for new staff tomorrow. And if there's someone who's, you know, better equipped to run the cash register, then I'll just fire Callista. Oh, no one's liking any of my sales pitches. And I don't know why. I think I'm doing pretty good. What time did we open? I can't even remember. What was it, like 9am or something like that? I really want to try and get a sale, like, off my own, off my own merit, you know? We'll greet this customer. Sales, basic sell. Because so far I'm not really doing much to build my sales skill. No one seems to like it. No one seems to like it when I do a basic sell. I mean, it's gaining me, like, skill points, but... It looks delicious, doesn't it? Oh, that looks like the Pleasant's, um, the Pleasant Twin's mother, but it isn't. But she looks like it. Oh, you're still mulling it over? Oh, he's just taking it! Yes, Debbie, another sale. Now, hopefully, my cashier isn't completely useless. I apologise if you notice any issues. I have straight away noticed... A little bit of a, a lag. My game's kind of freezing intermittently. I kind of mentioned, oh, I've got a customer star. I kind of mentioned at the start of this video I had a lot of problems getting this game to work, mainly because I just kept getting lots and lots of crashing. Oh, that customer might buy again. And I have noticed, now that I'm like recording the screen, I have noticed a few instances where my game's just kind of freezing, so hopefully I'm managing to avoid that on camera, but if you do see what looks like freezing, it's because I haven't really properly figured out how to get everything just right yet with my recording software and the game as well. Oh no, Jane, she's given me a red star. I thought we were friends, Jane. How many cakes have I sold so far? One, two, three, four. Bloody hell, I've been open all day and I've sold four cakes. I kind of hoped that I would get a bit more done at this point. Oh, Callista, come on now. I wonder if she's gained any talent badges. She's fairly paid. In fact, you know what? Um, you know what, Callista? I'm going to go and send you... Go and take a break. I'll manage the till. I think you need to go and take five minutes just to go and relax. Oh, see, when I leave the customers alone, they give me a star. So maybe I should just back off. Okay, yeah, we're the queen of the castle now. I bet we will probably be just as shit when we're checking people out. I've got three customers there thinking about it. Oh, what is your problem, Jane? What is your problem? Fuck off out my bakery, Jane. God. What if I go to hire employees for this lot? I wonder if I can see some better qualified employees, perhaps. Callista Fox, is that her name? Okay, useless useless yeah no they're still all a bit useless okay well at least we looked no she has not gained a talent badge yet for cashiering what the fuck she just gave me attitude Can, i'm gonna go set her uniform if you're gonna be rude to me callista then i will dress you like a clown and i will make you wear it every day come cheeky to me maybe we'll do hair tied up that seems appropriate doesn't it for working in a bakery and then we'll get you in an apron as well. I, c I could dress you like a clown, but I'm going to be nice. Oh, I think this is probably the best bet. Just an apron. There we go. But let this be a warning to you, Callista. I call the shots here and I could make your life a misery. Also, it's five o'clock. What time? I think we opened at like 10, actually. I'm not sure it was quite 9 a.m. So maybe we'll stay open until six. Oh, Jade, what is your problem? Okay, I'm going to try... Um, oh, I'm going to greet this customer. And I'm going to try a sale on him. And I'm going to try a sale on um, on Jane. But I, I don't really know what Jane wants. Because she doesn't like it when I try and sell to her. But then she gets the hump when I leave her to it. So, what do you want, Jane? She's saying no. Oh, Jane. Go to a therapist, Jane. I run my own business and we could really use a smart sim like you on our team, Debbie. How would you like to start working in the science career? Well, I mean... I mean, that is a great opportunity, but um, I'm a baker, man. I'm a baker and I have my own business too, in case you didn't notice. Oh, she needs the bathroom. Okay, right, we're just going to close up. We'll close up, send employees home. I don't think we've made much money today. Yeah, cash flow to date, minus 1,209. Yeah, I know you want to go home. Let's just go home then. The place is closed anyway. The John's household, let's go. Walked a lot. 
home. To be fair, you have done quite well today. I haven't helped you with your needs at all. Oh, she's shooing the customer away. Oh, why don't you just uh, ring up the customer? Ring up the customer before you go home. Oh, oh, okay. I guess he went anyway. I love that detail that the clothes is, that the shop is closed and she's shooing people out. That is brilliant. Right, let's go home. Oh, why can't, okay, walked a lot home. We need to do some baking as well. We gotta restock for tomorrow. Right, now we are home, we need to, I think we established, didn't we, that we had four, four desserts that we had to replace. So I'm not gonna go crazy with making loads of different things. I'll just make one cake, one berry pie, one cheesecake, and one baked Alaska. I mean, we really haven't made much money uh, from yesterday, but I really don't mind. Oh shit, I've just realized it's 11 a.m. Wait, how am I supposed to run a business when I'm always going to be coming home at 11 a.m. on Tuesday? So while I'm running my business, I'm always going to be working the same day. That is mental. How have I only just noticed that? Uh, hey, hey, um, I think, I think probably, I think probably you should get that out of the oven, Debbie. Deb, I noticed you're just kind of leaving that there. There's a, a, quite a bit of smoke coming from the... Debbie, get the cake out of the oven. Oh, you've burnt it to a crisp, Debbie. Oh, Debbie. Bloody hell. I guess this is what happens when I queue up. What? Are you going to eat that? I wouldn't. I would just throw it away. Clean it up. Just throw it away, Deb. So you can do better than that. Oh, I shouldn't have got you to do so many things at once. Right, just resume cooking that one. Okay, now cook this one. It shouldn't be this hard, Debs. Really shouldn't. Okay, and now, for the sake of avoiding a fire, I am just gonna have you make many um, cheesecakes. Because you've kind of shown that you can't be trusted now, haven't you? Trying to burn down your own house. Just because we had a bad day of business doesn't mean we need to start committing insurance fraud, Debbie. Why, why you walked around the entire house to get to the kitchen, I'm not sure. Right, I'm just gonna have her cook too. But this, uh, right, this timing thing is actually going to be a bit of a problem because if I have to come home to restock and then I go back out, then that means that I'm always going to be opening, like, late. I mean, I suppose I could just send her to bed and then wake up in the morning, but I don't know, this, this seems... This seems like an oversight, if I'm honest, an oversight for running a business. I've never minded that The Sims always reset to the time they left the house. Um, four, okay, that's, that's enough. You don't need to make any more. Um, but this does seem like quite a huge oversight. Go to bed, Debbie. Oh, she's not even tired. Just go and relax, Debbie. In fact, you know what? I'm going to make you tired so that you just go to sleep and then we'll open again on Wednesday morning. Oh, it's a blizzard outside. All right, Debbie, wake up. Come on now, Debs. Come on. Up you get. you got to get dressed. Actually, take a shower if you're going to be baking. Take a shower and then get dressed into your everyday and we'll head to the bakery. We will walk. Once again, we will walk. Although it is a blizzard, I, I don't think there's any harm in taking a little stroll next door. Get off the computer, stop watching porn. We've got a bakery to run. Debbie. Okay, here we are. So um, before we open up, oh actually, do you know what? I'm just gonna go ahead, open up, call in employees because customers, they don't need as much um, babysitting as they do in The Sims 4. Customers don't buy things as frequently, so I think it's all right for me to just take my time in restocking these. Oh no, I need to restock five. I only baked four, didn't I? Oh, damn. I sold five things. Oh well. I like how calling employees is literally just shouting out for them to come over. Oh, I had to bake the exact same thing to replace it. Okay, well maybe, I wonder if, if I go to my inventory. Okay, it does show me what was there before. Uh, what if I delete this and replace it with cheesecake instead? That's all right, isn't it? Yeah, okay, that worked perfectly fine. Okay, good, good. As fresh as can be. Okay, mostly everything has been restocked. Is this my employee? No. Oh, there she is, my employee at the till, ready to go. Oh, well done, Callista Fox. Is she my sim? No, she can't be my sim, because this is a new save file. Hmm. Hello, new customer. You eyeing up my delicious baked goods? Basic sell? Entertain? Joke? Cheeky joke? Oh, Debbie has figured out how to offer at the lower price. Okay, that's good, because 
offer at average because I've uh, deliberately overpriced my cakes for this exact moment. Greek Christian Lind. See if we can get you a discount, shall we, Cameron Lee? As a special deal for our new customer. What do you think? Discount? Discount? And then this customer will do the basic sell. We'll also offer an average. I know we're going to take a hit, but we are at least building up our sales skill. And that's, you know, that's important. And I've just gained myself a star for it. We should probably greet Patricia Wan. She was here all day yesterday and kind of shocking that we haven't even introduced ourselves yet. Oh, she's a natural at the sales pitch. Look at those eyes. She is selling it. Greet Patricia as well. What was your fear? What, what have you lost your influence over? What's your problem? Cameron Lee, offer at average, Christian Lind. Oh, I've already offered him. Well, I'll try basic sale again. And then Patricia will go through a few more few more sales tactics. Offer at average. Oh yeah, we are seeing so many gold stars now. That's right, both these customers have given me a gold star. Let's see if we can go for Patricia as well. Offer at average. Everyone loves a discount price, Patricia. Oh, she's nodding, she's nodding. Is that a star? Oh, she did not give me a star though. Maybe I'll try a few more sales pitches on these guys. Quiet day today. Lunchtime, we've only had three customers. I feel like we were busier yesterday. Maybe because it was our first day, everyone wanted to come to the opening, but... Your business is now rank one and you have gained a point to spend on business perks. Oh no. Oh fuck. Your business is losing favor and gone down to rank zero. Oh, oh, that was short-lived. That was a real short-lived success. Oh, I think I've just sold to that customer as well. Right, get ready, Callista fucks, because you are going to be checking out a lot of customers. Look alive, Callista. Look alive. Oh, I've just got another gold star. Your business is now at rank one. I, I don't even know what that means, though. I think... Oh, here we go. Okay, so I can pick a perk now. So I can go for a notable reputation. Oh, I can assess customers' mood. You've been awarded a prize, and that's not really much. Wholesome, wholesale discount, and influential. Oh, I don't know, I don't know. I think perception and motivation are gonna be the best ones for me to build up my sales skill. Although the cash one is quite good as well. Let's go for simply influential. Oh, another gold star. That's two gold stars from that customer. Debbie has come up with the hard sell. <gasps> Oh, am I going to lose a star from this customer if I try the hard sell? I don't know, but you've got to try, haven't you? Silver sales talent badge. Oh, that looked like an agreement to me. Okay, I think I think the hard sell went down well. I'll greet Christy Yang and we'll do the same thing. We'll just we'll work up to it. We'll do the basic sell, the discount and then the hard sell. Oh, I can't believe I've already got the silver talent badge after only 2 days in business. Why can't you get even a bronze talent badge after two days, Callista fucks? Yeah, not even a bronze. I'm gonna try the hard sell on this bitch, Patricia Wan. The way she, that customer is like, <laughs> she really did not like the hard sell. Basically just applying so much pressure. This hard sell animation is, is brilliant, although she's not taking it. She's getting really annoyed. Most of the other customers just cave into the pressure. Oh, is the phone ringing? I better answer it. In case it's business related. Oh, just a random guy. Okay, this sim, I've got to come greet him. And then I'm going to try my little sales pitches. And then same thing with this customer. Oh, oh, I think he's going to cave. He's going to say yes. He agreed. The hard sell. What a winner. Look how many gold stars I have now. Now to work our magic on this customer, Christy Yang. Oh, it's nearly five o'clock. Well, I might just, um, oh, another star. I'm gonna close the business and then we'll ring up the last remaining customers. Right, guys, time to pay up and leave. Get, check, get checked out and get out. Got two customers waiting to be rang up. Hopefully they don't get impatient and storm out. Come on, Callista, this is your time to shine. Don't let me down, Callista. Come on now. Come on. Sinji's just gonna walk out the door, isn't he? He's gonna drop his stuff on the... Okay, no, he made it to the till. One customer checked out. Okay, she did it. All right, Callista. Go ahead, go home. Send employees home. And then we're gonna go home as well. And you know what? On that note, I think I'm gonna end this video here. I wanted to spend a couple of days running a bakery, and that's exactly what we've done. This was actually quite fun. I think I'm gonna try running businesses in The Sims 2 more often. 
thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please like and subscribe. You know I love it when you do that. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.